Previously on Majora's Mask. This sword right here, the Gilded Sword, it is the most badass weapon I have wielded in a Zelda game. And now, the continuation. Hello everyone, it's Dekinosai here with another episode of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Today we're going to be covering content that requires us to once again defeat Gott on the first day, and blowing up this rock. All on the first day. All on the first day. All that good stuff was originally covered last episode, so if you're interested in seeing that in depth, go ahead and just watch the other episode. But for now, we're gonna go back to this Goron dude, and he's gonna tell us some things. Of course, talk to him as a Goron. Now, what's he gonna say? Looks like you succeeded! I will trust you now with the power of powder kegs. That's right. Take this as my apology for mistrusting you. We got a powder keg. This one's a portable one. We can actually light it ourselves and take it wherever we need to. And it just so happens that there is a very specific place. Now, they're very volatile, so he's only gonna let us to carry one. However, if we shoot it with an arrow, it's gonna explode, even if it's unlit. So just keep that in mind. Now, what we wanna do is actually go ahead and make our way to Milk Road. That's right, most of the things we're gonna do here will happen in Milk Road. I'm honestly pretty excited for this one because this is a side story or a side quest that I've been waiting to do for a long time. Now those of you who have seen episode 1 or 2 or whichever episode that I decided to go out here, you may recognize this area. It is actually Milk Road, the place before Romani Ranch. And you might notice, there's a big freaking rock in the way. Well, let's talk to this guy who's chipping it down. Maybe he has some advice for us today. Someone was up to some no-good mischief and blocked the Romani Ranch Road. I'm sorry, I'll remove it quickly. Hmm, quickly, huh? Huh, that's interesting. Let's just see how quickly he's gonna do. I think I can do it faster. I think I can do it faster. That's right, man. You better run for your life. I tell you, that crap hurts. I took one of those to the face, man. I was in the war, I took one into the face, and it, it just, my face wasn't the same again. In fact, it's detachable. <laughs> hey, as long as it's open to the traffic, it's terrific. All right, let's go in. Now, when we originally came through here, we saw these people, and they were extremely depressed. It looked like some kind of terrorist attack happened, and they were not happy campers. Their farm was ruined, their crops, their awesomeness, everything. Well, let's see what, how they're doing on the first day instead of the third. Look! We've already seen this cutscene, by the way. Isn't that your horse? That's my horse. That's right. So hello, little girl with a bow. How are you today? Look at her, she's so freaking adorable. Like seriously, and she just shot us. That's not nice. You shouldn't You shouldn't shoot people with that. It's not nice at all. So this is Romani, and uh, we are Link. Link? That's a nice name, but... But? You're about to say something rude. How about Grasshopper? That's the name Romani gives you. Well, all right, I guess. See, you're wearing green clothes and you're your patter about when you walk, so grasshopper it is. Romani was practicing for tonight. Tonight. They are coming. They. They come at night every year when the carnival approaches. They come riding in a bright, shining ball. A whole lot of them come down. And then, they come to the barn. Spooky. <laughs> no. Uh, my older sister won't believe me. Well, she should lighten up. But Romani must protect the cows. She should at least entertain your idea of something bad happening to the livestock at night. Uh, sure, we'll get a try. Great, now that's the spirit, Grasshopper. Okay, then I'm going straight into my strategy. They'll appear all over the ranch. They'll aim for that barn and approach it slowly, so hit them with arrows so they can't get in. 
So basically what she's going to end up explaining is there are 10 ghost balloons hanging out here. Our job, to shoot them down before two minutes is over. If we can't do that, then we don't pass her test. The current record is one minute. We're definitely not going to beat that, but... I am definitely out of practice, so don't blame me if I screw this up. So the majority of the practice run is just moving around, making sure you're comfortable with the Epona controls. Honestly, I haven't played with Epona since, um, Ocarina of Time, and that was quite the while ago. This Let's Play started about five months ago, just, just for your reference. <laughs> Just for your reference as to how long it's been since I've actually played with Ocarina of Time, or Epona, rather. But anyways, uh, as you can see, I'm trying to kind of snipe these balloons down. I guess test my, uh, test the range of my arrows. I'm not as good as an archer as I used to be back in those Gerudo training session days, you know, those mission days. Now, indicated on your map is a marker where each, um, each of the ghosts quote unquote ghosts are. Um, if you shoot them down, they'll disappear, of course, and once you do that, they will not appear. Now, I think these are actually um, markers for the spawn points of all the balloons, or rather, the balloons are markers for the spawn points of the ghosts. You will see them spawn in the same places as the balloons are, in other words. Um, that's actually very important to note, because in the training session, these guys, these guys disappear. Please, please die. Please die. Please die. I'm not that bad of an archer. Please die. Thank you. <laughs> Seriously. Okay, I'm done. So what have you got to say, Romani? That's great. You two work perfectly together. I'll teach Romani's horse calling song to you, Grasshopper. Now you two get along and go practice somewhere. It's Epona's song! The song of two who are bound by trust. That's right, I got my horse back. When your arrow hits these, they burst into nothing, but the real ones keep popping up. If they get in the barn, we lose. They run away at the first light of the sun, so we'll have to keep them away from now. Did you get that? Yeah, sure, why not? The operation starts tonight at two. I'll be waiting. So we actually literally have to wait until two o'clock AM. This is the part where I pull out the ocarina, and just play the song of passing. That's right, the song of passing. It's gonna at least give us tonight, but we can't skip to 2.30. We can't skip to 2 a.m. Technically it starts at 2.30, but we can't skip to 2 a.m. So the annoying part, which is what I'm going to cut out, is me just standing here for like 15 minutes. I'm also gonna turn off the uh, slow time. I'm gonna use the inverted song of time for a quick second here just so that time passes quicker. But anyways, I will see you when this shindig starts up. The Sentinels of the Night awaken. It is time. The aliens are coming. We must defend the barn. That's right. This minigame, this minigame right here, it always gave me so much trouble. But at the same time, at the same time, it's so easy, especially if you use the Song of Inverted Time. Once you start it, it starts at like 2.30 a.m. And pretty much all you have to do is go around just sniping these, um, these minions of the night, so to speak, these aliens. Now, they do drop arrows, so don't really worry about arrow count. If you feel like you're worried, like maybe you're half full or something, just go ahead and kill one and then pick up the stack. And it will basically, typically, refill your entire stock. So, arrows are indeed nothing to really worry about. Now, um, as for enemy locations, they're pretty much where the balloons were. If, if in doubt, just keep roaming around. Make sure you check the backside of the barn a lot, too, because that's a commonly missed area, and there are spawns back there. There are spawns back there. That being said, I have this on half speed, so essentially these aliens are going half as fast as they normally would. If I didn't have the Song of Inverted Time enabled, I would be basically in over my head. 
I'd be roaming around as the as these aliens were just storming the palace. Which is a good thing, I guess. Back in the day when I played this in middle school, um, I used to have a horrible time with this minigame just because I didn't know about the Song of Inverted Time, honestly. Um, I had trouble even beating the Swamp Temple because of that, but in all honesty, I mean, I did what I could for not knowing the Song of Inverted Time. But anyways, this minigame, I am so happy that I know the Song of Inverted Time now because once you, if you fail at this right here, if you fail at protecting the barn, you will actually screw up, so to speak, in this timeline sequence of events. If you screw up, you will have to go back in time and essentially do everything that I did at the beginning of this episode over again, which actually takes a lot more than you think. Um, uncut, that probably took me about, I'd say, 15 minutes alone just to do. Well, not including... Actually, I think I'd wait more like 20 minutes of work right there to try to redo this again. But if you're smart about it, you probably saved at an L statue before you even started this minigame and duplicated your file. You know, take the easy way out. That's a good way to do it. Now, watch out behind this barn, as I said earlier, because they do come out there. They do come out there. Just, just keep an eye on behind the barn. <laughs> Trust me on this one. Huh. <sighs> But yeah, I'm excited to get this done because this this is actually a really great um, great side quest. I actually adored this side quest in the past because it honestly makes you feel for the character. Like Romani here, um, Romani. If you saw her in day three, if you didn't do the oh double kill right there, wow. If you saw her in day three and you haven't done this quest, like on the same timeline. She's basically terrorized, like she's a fragment of the cheerful and adorable kid she is. And that's kind of heartbreaking, like heart-wrenching. Like you want to do something about it. You, it's, it's like you're the bigger brother and somebody's picking on your older sister, or little sister. You know? It's, it's kind of like that. It's kind of like that. You just want to stick up for her and defend her and all that jazz. So it's kind of redeeming in a way. Anyways, coming up to the fourth hour of the night here. We only have a few more hours left to go. Oh, I almost got a double kill there. That guy should have phased in a little quicker. Would have had it. Oh, there we go. There we go. You know, I wish it was possible to get a triple kill. I'm not sure if it is possible to get a triple kill, but... Hmm, I guess I'll try for it. I'll try to get it, but... It's not gonna override my precedence on just taking out these guys all at once. I'm surprised I haven't run out of things to talk about yet, to be honest with you. <laughs> It's kind of challenging to figure out things to talk about while, at the same time, fighting these guys. But at the same time, with Kirby's Epic Yarn, I tried to, you know, get past that a little. Like, I do side-scrolling games like Kirby games because there's literally nothing to talk about. No story or anything like that. Nothing really, really critical to explain. So it challenges me to kind of pick at my brain to figure out what to say. And from there, it builds up the skill of being able to talk about anything, anytime, anywhere. Oh, damn. Look at that fence just right there tri tripping me up. I'm gonna go ahead and check back at the barn real quick. Yeah, there's a ghosty back there. Haha. <laughs> you thought I didn't see you there. But yeah, not too long to go now. Um, the, the downside of having double time, however, is uh, it's gonna take twice as long. But I usually get caught up in this. I usually get caught up in just doing this minigame. It's it's pretty fun to me, honestly. Like, if you do this, it's pretty fun. As long as you don't get frustrated like me. I would get so pissed off at video games, man. So pissed off. I was one of those kids who, like, threw the controller down in anger. I swear. Uh, you know those, like, Game Boy Advance, um, AC adapters that gave power to your Game Boy even if it doesn't have batteries in it? I accidentally broke that because I got pissed off at the last gym in Pokemon. Like, I got so mad that, like, not the last gym, but I was at the Elite Four and I was trying so hard to defeat them and I couldn't. And I was so mad, even though I could have just, like, trained my Pokemon, I just, like, slammed it to the ground and I broke that adapter. It was nuts. <sighs> I'm glad I'm not like that anymore. So much. I, I know now the value of that equipment that broke. It's not, it's not fun to replace at all. Like, 15 bucks. I'm, not, I'm pretty sure they're like 10 bucks now. I don't know how much adapters go for these days, but it's money. 
and money is a precious thing in this day and age. Not too long now. Pretty much only a ha an hour left. Or now. All right. I'll take a win. <laughs> sure. I defended it justly. So let's see what she has to say for me. We did it. We won. Yay. Thank you. Thanks to you, the cows are giving thanks too. Here's Romani's thanks. When you drink it, put your hand on your hip and take a big gulp like we do here at the ranch. So we got a milk bottle, but more importantly, we got a bottle. That's our third bottle, folks. One sip of this drink recovers five, har five hearts, and it does two gulps, so it's like ten heart heal. So she has to go to bed before she gets caught by her older sister. That's her cue to basically fade out of the plot, and uh, her older sister's gonna fade into the plot. So we did her a service, we got a bottle of milk for it, and now we have to wait until 6 a.m., which is in like 45 minutes game time. I'm gonna go ahead and unleash release rather the um slow down of time just to make things a little bit quicker you know i could use the uh song of of uh passing time but i think i think i'll just end it here this is honestly felt like a really really long episode as it is so next time on the legend of zelda majora's mask we will actually continue the romani ranch storyline and hopefully end it until then take it easy and decky harder